so what might we have in here? Oh, it's the Ben Gravy. Woohoo! Metallic, too. Yeah, buddy. What do we got here? Yeah, boy. Some more Ben Gravy for the dream. No doubt. Mahalo, Ben. Peace out. Much aloha for the dream. Only two? You're good. All right, people of Earth, as you've just witnessed, I just hit Home Depot and I got a two by six piece of plywood, eight feet long. I got some dowels, one inch. I got a drill bit, that's one inch, and I got some pads, and I picked up some pallets from behind the store, and I am going to build a surfboard rack. These are all the materials that we need. I'm gonna walk you guys through this step by step, and by the way, this is my first time doing this, so I, have, I really have no hands-on experience, but I have an idea of what I'm doing just because I've seen a lot of them done, and this is just a logical way to build a surf rack for me. Um, overall, damn, I can't remember. All right, hold on. Okay, so overall, including everything here, plus some bonus materials that I actually didn't need for the surf rack, just for some extra two by fours, I'm spending about $55. So this surf rack, probably minus those two by fours, this surf rack would cost about 45 bucks. Let's get into it. So this board here is five and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the center of this, which would be two and three quarters, and I am going to put a line down the entire center. And now it's raining. So now that I have a line down the center, I know exactly where to put my poles to center them. So I'm gonna find the appropriate spacing down the center of my board and make marks for each pole. I'm thinking I'm gonna start at one foot intervals and see how that treats me. So I'm starting at the end and going one foot from there. Looks good to me. So now I'm going to drill. So here's my marks across the center every foot. I'm going to drill circular holes in each one of these. All right, so I tried to drill them all about the same depth, about one inch deep, so I could get the poles in each of the holes, and they'll be equal when they're sticking out. I bought four foot pole lengths, and I have to cut these down to two foot a piece. All right, now we're going to get all of our rods inserted into their proper placements. Oh yeah. Yeah mate, look at that. You joking me. Woo! What a dream dude. Wow. All right, the next step is we're gonna put screws behind it into the pieces of wood so that it pulls them in and firms everything up. So these screws are gonna go in here, through the back, and into the wood behind it. Let's go. Okay, so if my calculations are correct, this board rack should fit perfectly in the wall space that it was designed for. I've marked pencil on the wall for every spot that there should be a stud down the sheetrock. Okay, now that the board rack is up on the wall, we can now put the foam pads on for protective purposes. So I also found this super nice, what is this, 18 or 24 inch wide piece of pallet here. It's gonna start the rack across, 
across the bottom there. So that's how eventually the other side will look like too, but for right now, we have the padded board holders and a nice pallet to just balance the boards on. And I didn't get enough foam to cover this, but I will take care of that in the future. And uh, so far it's looking really good, really clean. And uh, we're onto something here. Let's fill this thing with surfboards. <laughs> Okay, so that's not all my boards, but look at that already. Six, seven surfboards on there and the thing's not even close to full. So I'll be able to fit my whole quiver very easily. Just a quick tip for the end here. This is my highest ceiling in the house. Build it in a room with a high ceiling because then I'm gonna be able to put my soft tops in here too, seven and eight footers. And uh, there it is, that's a surfboard rack for under 50 bucks. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go catch some waves. What up, big dog? Nothing, big dog. How you doing? What's up, everybody? <laughs> Dude, they're gonna be hating on that hoodie. <laughs> it's my favorite hoodie, man. Can't hate on it. <laughs> Just got down to the beach. Conditions are definitely novelty. Not the best. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> Not the best conditions, but it's it looks fun out there. A couple of fun ones. So Pretty we're sure a couple of fun ones. We're just gonna do the deal. I'm out there. Um, gonna ride the 410 twin fin, and it feels like winter time again out here. So let's go shred it. You. Nub Nation. Here we are in the house. Disastrous. Look at this. It's kind of almost like move-in day. I'm getting the tools organized. Making some coffee right now. I ran out of filter so I'm using a, an old t-shirt actually for the coffee filter. Shout out to Gorkin for teaching me that one. Works wonders. As you guys know the board rack looking sick back here. Pulled some boards off it today and went surfing. I'm just here trying to get everything situated, get everything together. I just installed this little light switch. Boom! She's working beautifully. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. Thank you so 
much for uh, just all the support and all the love. Just a quick vlog today. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get in the new house and give you guys a tour once everything's together and done. Look at this. I'm getting some artwork up. Yeah, the dream is moving forward. Remember, guys, just reach deep within yourself and, and pull the dream out. You know, like today's a good example. I um I went out and surfed ankle high waves in the inlet and the wind was on shore and junky slop. And I just, you know, I just said, screw it. I'm going out. I'm going to I'm gonna make this into the dream. So I decided to strap on my wetsuit even though it's cold out and the wind's howling. And I caught a couple really fun waves and I'm feeling good about my life. I'm feeling good about the house and I'm just stoked. I'm stoked to be alive. Always remember that this life is a blessing. The chances of us being here, the chances of, of us even becoming alive are like some crazy statistic that I'm gonna put right down here. So, appreciate it. Love your life. And uh, actually, this is a good time to talk about this. As a lot of you guys know, I'm sure, um, one of uh, surfing's great legends, Sonny Garcia, apparently tried to take his own life a couple days ago, and he's in the intensive care unit in Oregon. So, send some prayers out for him, some positive energy. And, uh, you know, life is a blessing, guys. So, whatever's coming at you and uh, whatever you're dealing with right now, just try to look at the positives and try to look at life um, in a positive way and just know that you're lucky and blessed to be here no matter what your situation. You know, you could always be you could always be more rich. You could always get more views. You could always have more followers. You could always catch bigger waves. You could always have a bigger house, a better car. The list goes on and on. But when you reach inside of yourself and you find that inner peace and say to yourself, you know, I've worked really hard to get where I am and I'm I'm okay with it. I'm stoked with what I have. Me personally, I'm stoked. I have this beautiful house here. It's crooked and uh, it's probably the smallest and oldest house on my block, but I'm stoked on it. And I have a loving family and I have Jordan and I have a lot of good friends and I have uh, some amazing companies that back me. You know, I could be I could be a lot, I could be in a lot better of a situation and I can be in a lot, lot worse of a situation. The fact that I get to wake up every day just knowing that I'm not going to pick up uh, a bottle of alcohol and uh, fall off the wagon and uh, ruin my life again is, that's enough for me and that's what keeps me going forward. So I don't want to get, I don't want to get too deep or drag this out too long, but thank you guys so much for everything. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow for the dream.